So my name is Ian Tripsey and I'm a member of the Atlas Collaboration. And what we're doing in this laboratory is evaluating the incorporation of automated assembly techniques to the problem of building the hybrid silicon modules for the silicon tracker of the Atlas detector at the Large Hadron Collider by the incorporation of robotic assembly. Robotic assembly enables us first to produce modules in a repeatable fashion so that the final product has less intrinsic variability. Secondly, it enables us to have increased capacity so that we can, for example, make up for the production delays that are likely to arise in a complicated project, project like this one. And third, it enables us to ensure that the same process is used at different sites around the globe as we assemble the Atlas Silicon Tracker for the collaboration. So robotic assembly is enabled by building a system that consists of several parts. We have an advanced camera with magnifying optics and a lighting system. We have a glue dispensing system and we have a vacuum system. And we combine that with an off-the-shelf four-axis motion controlled system from Aerotech. The machine aims at an accuracy of plus or minus five microns and a repeatability in that alignment to 10 microns. The combination of the four enable us to build a pick and place machine that is a robot for building modules for the Atlas Silicon Tracker. So today the machine is in use at CERN, it's in use at Fermilab, and it's in use at the University of California, Santa Barbara. And we built a similar system at Purdue University in the United States that we used to build forward pixel modules for the silicon detector for the CMS upgrade. So now I'd like to introduce my colleague, Kirk Arndt, who is going to step you through the process of automated assembly of a silicon hybrid module for the Atlas Silicon Tracker. For this demonstration of pick and place module assembly using a gantry positioning system, we're building a thermomechanical strip tracker module for the Atlas upgrade detector. We start with mechanical grade components consisting of 10 glass substrate ASIC front end chips, which we've hand placed into alignment fixture in this part of the gantry table, and it's vacuum clamped to the table. In this part of the table, we have a vacuum fixture that is clamping the hybrid flex circuit in panel to the gantry. Now the liquid adhesive that we use to join the front end chips to the hybrid flex circuit is applied to the flex circuit using a liquid dispensing robot in a separate part of the lab, which I'll show you now. Here we show our robot dispensing a liquid adhesive in a pattern of five dots in each chip placement site on the hybrid flex circuit. The liquid dispensing robot consists of a three-axis motion, a vision system, and a liquid dispensing controller that controls the amount of time and the pressure applied to the liquid to determine the volume of the adhesive that's dispensed. Once the liquid adhesive has been dispensed in the pattern of five dots, the hybrid flex panel is moved to the vacuum chuck on the gantry. The pick and place module assembly program begins by moving the gantry's camera to the location of the components in their fixtures on the gantry table. The gantry program releases control of the motion to an operator who uses a joystick to find the actual location of the corners of the array of chips and then moves on to find the location of three corners of the flex hybrid. The stored locations are used to calculate a center and a rotational vector for each of the components that will be used to align the chips to the flex hybrid during the pick and place. The gantry then moves to a position above the vacuum spreader tool in the tool rack. The tool holder on the gantry vacuum clamps to the vacuum spreader tool and moves to remove the vacuum spreader tool from the tool rack and then moves to a position above the bridge tool that will be used to lift the components. 
The vacuum spreader tool on the gantry picks up the bridge tool from the docking fixture and moves to place the bridge tool onto the ASICs in their alignment fixture. The bridge tool is vacuum clamped to the ASICs alignment fixture chuck. The vacuum spreader tool on the gantry is released from the bridge tool. It's raised, rotated, and lowered. Then vacuum is applied through the vacuum spreader tool to the bridge tool to pick up the ASICs. The bridge tool is released from the alignment chuck and the ASICs are lifted from their alignment fixture. The ASIC chips are aligned and placed onto the hybrid circuit. The bridge tool is vacuum clamped to the hybrid panel vacuum chuck. The vacuum spreader tool is released and returned to the tool rack. The bridge tool remains vacuum clamped to the hybrid panel vacuum chuck until the adhesive is cured. When the hybrid circuit is ready to be pick and placed onto the strip sensor, as before, the gantry moves to the ideal locations of the components in their fixtures on the gantry table. The operator uses the joystick to adjust the gantry to the actual location of fiducials on the hybrid circuit and sensor and records their positions. Pattern recognition will be implemented in a future development of the gantry control program. The gantry then moves to remove the vacuum spreader tool from the tool rack. It moves the vacuum spreader tool to the bridge tool and lifts the bridge tool from its docking station. The bridge tool is moved to the correct position above the hybrid circuit that is going to be pick and placed onto the sensor. The bridge tool is vacuum clamped to the hybrid circuit vacuum chuck. Vacuum is applied through the spreader tool and through the bridge tool to lift the hybrid circuit. The gantry then moves to align and place the hybrid circuit onto the sensor. A pattern of adhesive has already been applied to the sensor using the liquid dispensing robot. The bridge tool is vacuum clamped to the sensor fixture where it remains until the adhesive is cured. The vacuum spreader tool is released and returned to the tool rack to conclude the program. So once the epoxy is cured that's adhering the hybrid flex circuit to the strip sensor, we remove vacuum from the bridge tool and lift the bridge tool off of the assembled strip module.